This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Time to do a little comparing. I'm going to press the letter J on my keyboard and turn all that stuff off. Don't forget the letter J so we can see everything in the view that I've got. I'm looking for an image with snow and I need it for a book I'm writing. And I need a snow picture of a barn, but I want to look at more than one. I love using this feature for another thing, taking portraits. And the person's in the same place. They're not going anywhere. But there's different expressions on their faces, and I can kind of choose which one I like that's kind of neat. Let's do this. Come over here. Now, remember this thing about selection. Let me just mention this once to you. If I come over here and select that image, and hold down the shift key and come over here and click another one. I select everything between the two clicks, and I think most of you know that. But most of the time, I don't want to select contiguous. I want to select what's called non contiguous, and that would be different areas. So I want this one. I'm going to hold down the control key. That's the Apple or Command key on a Mac. Same key, different name. I'm looking for snow images. There's one. There's one. And let's go to this one too. So we've got three. Now, either press the letter C on your keyboard, which takes you to compare, or click the XY button down here. Now, you'll notice on one side is a select, and on one side is a candidate. And what that means is that's probably the one I want. You say, well, Andy, there's only two up here, and you like got three selected down there. Well, you can do a couple of things to get there. Number one, I can press the left and right arrow keys. But here comes the problem. That one's in landscape mode. The other two are in portrait. I'm not seeing the whole image. Press the tab key. Don't forget that tab key. It's going to get rid of everything on either side and basically give you a better view. If I come over to my zoom button right here, I can take that back down so we can see both of them. And then if I press the right arrow key, I can go between those two. So the one on the left is still the one that I want. So let's say, okay, that's cool. But you know what? I actually, I like this one better on the right. So the candidate needs to become the one that's selected. All you have to do is click this little button right here, and that will shift one to the other. So now the one that was on the left is now what I would define as the select. And we can continue going through this process of moving left or right. If I come back to zoom, remember what that did? It zoomed in on the images. If I want to, for whatever reason, control only one of them, because everything right now is locked in, then I change this lock by clicking on it into an unlock position. That's cute, isn't it? Lock, unlock. If I then come over here, I can then change that one image. But if I come back and lock it, they'll both go to the same zoom. So I have the ability to kind of check them out in Zoom. Locked or unlocked is up to you. And you know what? I'm going to go back to this arrow right here. You can use the arrow keys or click these buttons. And you know what? Now I like this one. So I'm going to click this button again right here to change the two out. Let's say for the sake of argument that I'm really happy about what I've chosen. But you'll notice down here in the film strip, there's a small black dot on this one. That means that's the selected one. This one has a small white circle, which means so far that's the candidate. And this is the other one that we have that we haven't chosen yet. Can you add more to the mix? Yes. Hold down the control key and click this one. It will add it to the set, which means if I now use my right and left arrow keys, I can go backward and forward through all of them. And now I've changed my mind again. I like that one. We're going to swap them over. Let's say we're done. We've finally made our selection candidate. What we're going to do is click Done right here. What does that do? It doesn't do anything to the other ones. They're still there. But it puts us back into Loop View. We're out of Compare. As you can see right over here, we're in Loop View. Let's press our Tab key so we can get our stuff back. And maybe do a fit up here so we can see it. But you know what? I'm ready to mark this thing as the one I want to use. So I'll click, say, right here for Flag give it a flag, and maybe give it a color. If we go back into grid view, you will notice 
that if we go ahead and press the letter J a couple of times, there's the flag. And you can see the color around it too has changed. I like the ability to do that. So you can change the color and you can kind of see it visually. So that's compare. It gives you the ability to look at several images, two or more, and make a final decision on what one you want. On to the next.